Nigerians say wahala be like Barsiko, you know they finish. Nigeria don't enter with this. How did we get to this and how are we going to come out from this? This is a very big question. Military begin rehabilitation, reintegration of fresh 559 S Boko Haram fighters. The military high command on Tuesday reviewed that at least 559 former members of Boko Haram fighters are currently undergoing re rehabilitation under one of its programs being handled by Operation Safe Corridor, OPSC, called the Radicalization, Rehabilitation and Reintegration, DRR, in Kobe State. The Chief of Defense Staff, CDS, General Loki Irabo, who disclosed this at Defense Headquarters Abuja during the stakeholders meeting of OPSC. He also dismissed reports claiming that some of the over 1,000 rehabilitated S Boko Haram fighters have been recruited into Nigeria Army. These have generated reactions from Nigerians. People just they talk left, right, and center. Honestly, we are confused. <laughs> we don't even know what to do because these people they are doing us. The more you see, the more you look, the less you see. The prayer now is how are we going to get out from this? And we should not experience what happened in Afghanistan. This one now, Wahala. Terrorism is the worst form of crime against humanity. And I have never seen where terrorists are freed and rehabilitated. This is the first time, the first of its kind. By the way, most of Boko Haram fighters are not even Nigerians. They, they are either from, uh, where, where are they calling themselves? From Niger Republic, Chad, or whatever they are calling them and all that, who came into the country live and oppress, to live and oppress the law-abiding citizens of this country because of their northern collaborators have permitted this. Immigration officers posted to the northern region dare not challenge this foreign for illegal entry. That is why I always say the map of Nigeria stretches far beyond Sokoto and Burundi states because they told us that um, most of the bandits today we have in this country are non Nigerians. And now the question is how did they enter this country? And they same this government say they close borders. And now they see they tell us say the people who are killing Nigerians, you know, are adopting for ransom are not from Nigeria, but in other countries. But our border is closed. Honestly, this is really um, worrisome and disturbing. Let's hear what Nigerians have to say. Nigeria, my country, can any sane person trust a snake? Hmm. Terrorist is either killed or sentenced to life in prison. But in Nigeria, terrorists are pampered and released after a while. They went back to their terrorist activities. Hmm. But these the same people are now seeing agitators are their worst enemy, leaving the real enemy who is just by their backyard there, you know, still winging their shoulders as lords. My question is who forgive them? The northern people will not see peace if those that killed innocent life, rape our mothers and children, and destroy our properties, make many people homeless, will be on the streets. Freely, I think this is injustice. You can say that again. These people want us to run away from our own heritage. This country will be worse than Samuel, uh, Samuel. By the time we will start defending ourselves, Mazen Nandikano has been right about their plans of conquest. Gallant officers are paying with their lives daily and they are busy facing flexing those responsible for the falling uh, for the falling heroes so the government are indirectly encouraging the youth to go into terrorism because they will be rewarded and given more priorities to 
at the end of the madness. Nigeria, we hear the Nigeria is there a country. <laughs> this proof they are not ready to fight insurgencies. Ah, okay. Someone said, when will you tell us the truth? They say you are against the government. When you say the truth, they say you are against the government. In fact, anybody that said the truth, you see the government coming after you. La Mohammed had never relented. They will look for all words. <laughs> he will gather to talk. They will either blame the opposition party or the past leaders or COVID-19 uh, as their failure to tackle insecurity and corruption in the country. This government is the most corrupt government so far in the history of this country. But planning, um, pretending to fight corruption. Now, the question is, Nigerian government is busy, you know, welcoming a Boko Haram back to the country, the society, the society and all that. What are they doing to those who are victims of these people, who are not orphans? The widows, the widowers. So many Nigerians are in the uh, IDP camps, suffering, no food, <laughs> no homes. But they are just concerned about these people. What is going on? I think they get where criminals stay. If you do something bad, you go get with him, they go to you. So that anybody, when one look up to you, so they will not commit such a crime that will now discourage them of doing it but the way we are going about this there is no way they will stop because it's just like you are encouraging them to do so so guys these people matter the tired person make a drop on for you when you get to talk concerning this news let's hear from you don't forget to give us a thumbs up also subscribe to this channel if you have not thank you very much bye for now mm -hmm.